Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and we're going to do something a little bit different. This is called the PocketNow Throwback. We're going to take a look at the old IPAC 3650, which may look familiar to those of you that have been using Windows CE-based devices like the Pocket PCs of many, many years ago. This is actually a nine-year-old device uh, that came out, obviously, in about 2000, and it really set the world on fire in terms of bringing handheld computing power to a small device like this. This was a revolutionary device. Uh, today, obviously, it is pretty much worthless. doesn't have a phone, has a slow processor. Um, if you let the battery die on this device, all of your data is erased. Uh, they changed that model later in the years in Windows CE, um, but this model has that old version of the Pocket PC operating system. Pocket PC 2000 is what they call it. So in this video series, we're gonna take a look at how Windows Mobile has changed, how it really hasn't changed, and take a look at one of the devices that really started it all in terms of the handheld space uh, that is now huge and is really characterized by smartphones. So let's take a look at the size of the IPAC 3650. Um, the HTC Touch HD, if you've ever held it, is a large device. It feels large in hand, it's very wide, it's pretty thin, uh, but it feels big in the pocket because the screen is so large. Next to the IPAC 3650, the Touch HD actually looks pretty small. If we stack them up, we see how much wider the iPad is, and obviously it's a whole lot thicker. This is not a pocket-friendly de device, but in 2000 when it came out, it was amazing that you could fit a computer the size of sort of your hand, but much larger, inside your pocket. And even next to a device like the Samsung Omnia 2, the iPad 3650 looks much bigger. So in terms of specifications, this is running a 200 megahertz strong arm processor. It's obvi obviously got a QVGA resolution screen, that's 320 down and 240 across. As mentioned, it runs the Pocket PC 2000 operating system. It's got a stylus up here. It has 32 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of ROM. Uh, let's take a look around the device. Down here we have a D-pad which actually doubles as a speaker. And then we have a Q button. I don't know what that does, I kind of forget. A back button, and it looks like a calendar and a contacts button. Over here is a button to record voice notes. That's where you charge the device. And here's the syncing cable. And you could have these expansion sleeves for the iPad to do a variety of things. You could actually attach a PCM CIA card that you use in a laptop to your iPad using a special um, connector that probably people that use the iPad had. On the other side, there's nothing. And on the top, we have a little button that shoots out the stylus, which is plastic, non-collapsible. We also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, a lot of devices today still don't have that. So that was a quick look at the iPad 3650. We're gonna do more video coverage, actually turn it on, go through the applications and see what the Pocket PC operating system, which is the precursor to Windows Mobile, looked like back in 2000 when this legendary device came out. We'll be back soon with more. That's it for now.